Welcome back to the workshop, everybody. So glad you could be with me here today. Walter at the workbench. Hey, two quick things today. I'd like to do another question and answer session. So if you have any questions, leave them for me in the comment section or write me a private message, email, or heck, if you want to, write me a letter, put it in the mail, put a stamp on it, mail it to me. So I'd like to start doing some more question and answers. In December, November's almost gone. So what wood is this, you might ask? It's lightweight, it's dark, it's straight grain, has some knots, little pin knots. All straight grain. Take a close look. What wood is that? It's rift cut and old growth. And I will tell you this much, it was reclaimed by a friend of mine from an old deck outside and staircase and handrails. It was all outdoors. No rot, no decay. Here's another piece. Take a look at that. Hope the camera focuses in on it. Give up. Take a look at the end grain. It is California Redwood. And I'm not sure quite yet what I'm going to do with it. I'm looking for inspiration. I thought I'd come out and plane off all the dirt. You can see there was some weather dark shavings compared to the smooth finishing shavings. It's all brittle and crumbly. What I'm thinking, I'm getting this inspirational feeling that I would like to resaw it. They're only small pieces, maybe seven, eight inches, maybe nine, ten inches. They are about an inch and a half. They'll be about an inch and a quarter thick by the time it gets dressed down. But what I'm getting a feeling for is to cut this up into half inch by three eighth inch strips. I'm thinking half by three eighths, maybe five eighths by three eighths. I have to do the math. I want it to be within that golden mean, uh, the golden rule proportion. But cut this all up into strips, then get some basswood and cut that into strips, and then build some sort of a frame out of something, I'm not sure what yet, and then make like a um, Japanese-inspired nightlight with all those little crisscross pieces. I might try that. Might have to experiment with just some pine and basswood to start. I know somebody who's got some yellow cedar. Maybe if I could convince him to part with it, that would be a, a good comparison color to the darker redwood and I would not put any finish on it. If I did anything at all I might burnish on some some uh, bleached beeswax. Have to do some tests. But that's about it for today. I wanted to show you the redwood and I wanted to get your opinion on doing some more questions and answers. So Here's another little piece. This is a little bit on the diagonal. But boy, this stuff is dry. Redwood's a great wood. You look up the properties. It has fire resistance. It, it's great for outdoor use, for decay resistance, bugs and rot and everything else. And uh, it is expensive and it is toxic to breathe the dust continuously. For a small project like this and handwork, it's not a big deal. But if you were doing 
if you were bandsaw milling a lot of this and you didn't use a dust collector, you should have a respirator on. Thanks for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. And uh, hey, listen, we're just coming off of Thanksgiving, so head out to your shop. Go make some shavings. Work off some of that turkey. Walter out.